Hello and welcome back to Anchor Place and welcome back to uh, Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. So the game crashed unfortunately, but um, we can check the dialogue info on what exactly happened afterwards. So let's check the dialogues. Um, Yesterday afternoon, I was given a parcel to deliver to an address not far from here. I was near the warehouse district when a gang of young lads attacked me. Before I could think, they drew knives and gave me a bottle, telling me if I value my life, I'd better drink it all. He drank without stopping, became giddy, and passed out. He remembers nothing else, except for waking up a moment ago and finding himself alone, his parcel gone. Um, so... Sherlock, like, decides that they were probably trying to test uh, some moonshine they were making. And it has, like, a large containment of turnips. Where a liberal amount, he says. Um, but yeah, like, I actually ended the recording as I would normally, but for whatever reason. This game is so old. <laughs> it didn't like, uh, it didn't like the, the button I used for, uh... For uh, for closing the the, the 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 recording, so the game crashed, and uh, for he also broke the last three minutes of the recording. Unfortunately, um, so yeah. Let's see, what is this? Richardson's 1894, September 7th. Step traces at the warehouse six. Oh, Kelly. The baby came to say to me that Sandra began giving birth and that she claims me. The boat is clear. You will easily find registers not far. Philo. The baby came to say to me that Sandra began giving birth and that she claims me. What? Okay, well, let's not, uh... Oh, my aching head. I feel terrible. Oh, poor guy. Alright. Let's see. By the way, I found out you can run with the shift button. Uh, is this back where I came from? Warehouses. Okay. Okay. Hmm. What warehouse is that? Twelve. Okay. We might want to remember that. Because this looked like it had stuff going on with it. Like, look here. Interesting. Okay. Well. I did found, find the, the smuggler's house. I just don't remember where the fuck I found it. Because it's, it's it's on the map at Smuckler's house once it it join it comes on the map. Uh, so we just have to find it again, I guess. Can I move this? Nope. Okay. This is this is to go to water. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I circled back. Okay. Well, this is a bottle, I guess. But yeah, I found the smuggler's house. I just I think it must be over here somewhere. Yeah, it's here. It's here. It's here. I remember this. Yeah. Okay. That part of the warehouse seems an ideal place to hide, but it would be difficult for anyone to get there. What part of the warehouse? Okay. 
Alright. So? I assume this is your special recipe? That depends on who's asking. If it's the law, then I have nothing to do with this. If you're a customer, two shillings gets you a taste. A fair price indeed. Unfortunately, this vintage is a bit full-bodied for my taste. But I would be very happy to recover a parcel that went missing near this very spot. That part of the warehouse seems an ideal place to hide, but it would be difficult for anyone to get there. Oh, maybe we should show him this as well. What? One other thing. Have you seen this before? Yes, I saw it. One of the dock workers, an odd sort, gave it to a gang member, Brannock. He wanted Brannock to join their gang, or I don't know what. Must have been nigh on two weeks ago. Two days later, he went missing, and not a word since. This man who gave your friend the pendant, can you describe him? Not very tall, strong, wearing a red cap, and he with a hair lip. You could likely find him near Warehouse 12. He told Brannock he worked there. Thank you. By the way, my friend the postman feels badly used. You should change the recipe. Oh, I was sure of that. Turnips weren't near rotted enough. Maybe they need a longer soak in the Not near gutter rotted water. enough, I now, say. Off with a pair of you. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we can take the puzzle back to the postman and then check warehouse. What warehouse did. Was it 12 then? Yeah, warehouse 12. Okay, well, that was significant. Let's go back to the postman with the puzzle first. And then, uh, then we can check Warehouse 12 afterwards. Just in case there's combat in there. Like, I don't know, I know Sherlock is supposed to be a boxer, but what's he supposed to see here? Okay, he's gone. Uh... Pub? There's a Nepalese house, maybe... Hey, is this yours? Petro, he took a. Uh. Petro, he took a. Okay. So the kid had a brooch from a gang that hung out of Warehouse for twelve. What about? We can't talk to this kid, can we? And the house across the way was. Uh, Close, right? No one is here. Yeah, okay. Let's try the pub. Maybe the postman went to the pub to warm up before going home. The Cursed Mermaid. Hello to you again, sir. I won't waste time. We have discovered new details that may lead us to this elusive seaman. Most significantly, the man has a missing eye and wears a silver ball in its place. By God, that can be no other than Dirty Summers. A nasty brute, that one. Where could one find him? He must have signed on with a ship, because he was here last night looking to hire some men. How did he behave while he was here? He gave me extra to secure the private table behind that curtain. During his time here, men of all sorts came and went seeking positions. However, he seemed nervous and fearful as his knife was unsheathed and ready the whole of the night. May I examine this table behind the curtain? Certainly, if it will help. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. All right. What about this dude? Excuse me, sir. Could you... I'm in no mind to talk. Leave me to my drink. Excuse me, sir. Could you... I'm in no mind to talk. Leave me to my drink. Knife, wasn't it? Brooch? Excuse me, sir. Could you... I'm in no mind to talk. 
Leave me to my drink. Rope? Excuse me, sir. Could you... I am in no mind to talk. Leave me to my drink. Puzzle. Oh! Good news, sir. Here is what you were waiting for. Oh, it was his puzzle. Oh, of course, it's the fucking hand he was waiting for, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, thank you, sir. I could kiss you. Please don't. Here now. You can't just leave this laying about like that. Lord love you. The scrapers are what it is. Well, come now. Let's celebrate with a, a drink. Oh, the poor guy, though. Cutting your ass. Trying to, to, to scratch yourself. Oh. This should prove useful. Yes, thank you. I have no reason to go there. No reason to go there. Oh, right, the, the, the curtain. Uh, lamp. Uh, table. These cuts seem quite recent. There are four symbols. Dagon, I'm guessing. No, D A G O N. No, that's five symbols. <sighs> okay. J Simon, it's an anchor. Anything else? What do you make of this, Holmes? What do you make of this, Holmes? No shit, Sherlock. Oh, there's a frog. The cursed mermaid. mermaid. Have you found anything of importance, sir? Brooch? Have you found anything of importance, sir? No, I have nothing to say to him. Nothing. Okay. Well. Uh. Now, I play a lot of point and click adventures, and if I know one thing about point and click adventures, <laughs> I fucking knew it. <laughs> it's like. It's like point and click 101. All right. You know, we probably needed that to even enter. Warehouse. Yeah, because they had that broken window, right? So we probably need the hook to like open the door or something or to pull ourselves up and climb through the window or Fuck if I know. Let's go try that out. Let's go to the warehouse. That's customs. Mm. I don't remember the way to the warehouses. No, warehouse 8. We were going for 12, right? I need something. Use this. Hell yeah! Oh. Um. The night climb. Hmm. What a pity. The window is closed and the front door is barred. We must gain entry. But how? But why in blazes are we breaking in? Our homes!
Did that, like, add? It added Warehouse 12 to... Alright, well... I can try if I can look back here. Can I climb these? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Here we go. Bravo, Holmes. Bravo. Ah, it bites. What bites? A splendid catch, Watson, but I prefer to let it go. After you. Oh, like it's a fishing. Oh. Well, did I get the hook back? No. So more hook. Let's save the game. We can't do this in such a way. How could we lift up this weight? Let us pause to consider the facts, Watson. No mystery can resist an agile mind. Oh, let's see. Oh, blood! <laughs> blood! <laughs> I need something. I need something. Oh, floor. The end of this hat pin is covered with blood. Blood. And Amos Colby, United States, April 20th, 1852, Boston, Massachusetts, entered the country 22nd of August, 1894. Ugh. Cthulhu? Look, Watson, a page torn from an American passport. One Amos Colby, 36 years old, from Boston, Massachusetts. He arrived here just three weeks ago. What business did he have here? Mm. This drawing on the back of this page, it resembles some vision of a demon and... Good God, Holmes! It was drawn with blood! Blood! It would seem likely that whoever cut themselves with this pin is also the artist of this demoniac image. Here now, this is hardly reassuring. Hardly. Is this a thing? Oh, it is. I just need the... This should prove useful. There's a crowbar, right? Tell me it's a fucking crowbar. Well, there's an iron bar. Sales, and according to this tab, the case is measured two meter by one meter by one meter. Okay. So it's a it's a it's a box of sales. Someone has emptied these cases of sailcloth to hold something very different, but still suited to their particular form. Oh, my God, Holmes, you do not mean that all these crates are better called coffins. I mean, that could be it. That could be it, Watson, but we don't really have any proof beyond this blood. And can I... I can't open this. So we don't really have any proof that these were used at coffins. No, 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 no. Okay. Hmm. This is a well here. Huh. Okay, so I'll just pull this rope. Oh. Well. Is it a well or what do you call this? I can't imagine it holds liquid very well, honestly, when it's made out of brick. Okay. No. I guess maybe if you make like a counterweight. Can you can you move this? 
Oh, and there's a... There's a thing, there's like a... Valve, valve, let me, let, just tell me the valve works. It fucking does, Watson! I'm a fucking genius. Then we'll just... Please tell me. Is it really this simple? Do I just... Do I just fucking... I cannot do this. I cannot do this. Oh. I cannot do this. Don't I just push it? Then I'll... Or do I like... Cut it? I do! Bravo, Holmes! Alright, well... Creepy tunnel. Watson, we must inspect this place carefully and leave no stone unturned. We have little time. Uh, okay, well, I've got to save and stop the episode. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Anger Place. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you join next time for more shenanigans. Until then, bye.